today's video we're going to play a game and this is a fun game that I love to show how kids how to play and that is it can create some really crazy sort of images or creative should I say drawings of things so just folding our page into thirds it can be tricky but it doesn't have to be perfect I'm going to get one piece of paper folded there and you can see I've got it that's folded into thirds and I'm going to do a couple more because in this exercise we're going to do some different pictures so roughly there and then fold that one in back into where that line is so I'm just folding my paper Do one more. Let's get rid of that spare piece. And folding that one up as well. And folding this one up. Now I thought I'd show you this video because the other day I did it with some uh, kids for a birthday warm-up activity. And this was there was a really funny looking picture that uh, was created as a result and that was this one here it's a ninja with at a school with octopus arms and a buggy bottom now you could keep going with more detail than that but the very first you can play this with your friends too so what we do is once we've got the, the piece of paper the top section is the head, the middle section is the body, and this is the feet or the legs or whatever you choose to be on the bottom. So make sure when you're doing the first part that the folded out area is at the top. So this is gonna be the head, this is gonna be another head, and this is gonna be another head here as well. So let's start with a character that some of you may know already, and I'm going to draw Pikachu's head on the top here. So it comes out, in, and around, back in, and out, like so. And this is a really quick drawing of Pikachu. You probably would have drawn Pikachu before, maybe. And some simple ears coming off the top like so. So there we have Pikachu and we need to draw Pikachu's eyes on there. I'm just going to draw a couple of circles like so and then with another circle and another circle. He's looking sort of up that way. There's a basic Pikachu. Now we could keep going with this but what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we just put a couple of little lines coming down into here because that's where we need to make sure it lines up. So I'm just going to pop that one to the, to the side. I'm going to get the next one. And on this one, you, we're going to draw a character's head that you may have seen before of mine, just a simple. Now these is just to show you some different ways. This is the robot. If you've drawn along the robot before, you'll know that all drawings are made up of simple lines and shapes. Now he's looking the opposite direction. This time I'm just going to, I'm not gonna put all the details on at the moment because we can come back later on and do that. Okay, so there is the head. So I'm drawing the heads and he's got, an, obviously needs a neck. So he's gonna have a neck that looks like this. Now what we do is we make sure that we carry it into the next shape and then we undo that one. There we go, that's that one. Now I also happen to have another character here that I'm reusing and this one here is my pirate giraffe that I did once with a session. So drawing my giraffe's neck Drawing the head of the giraffe, like so. 
Now remember these are pencil drawings so we can change them later on. I'm just drawing it quickly to show you. Now this one is a pirate, so he's gonna put a pirate hat on with a pirate's pirate uh, skull and crossbone eye patch. And we can make that look even better later on. And we'll do a normal eye over here. And he's a bit cranky. And then we'll put a couple of little bits on. Now, let's bring that one down into there. We have just done the three heads of our characters. Okay, we've got our three pieces of paper here. Okay, with this game, this is where we could pass this to a friend and get them to draw the bodies or we could swap them around, or what we do is we can mix them up. Now I've forgotten which one's what, no peeping. Oh, this is gonna be the body of my next artwork. Now you could look through some books and use some of your own char other characters. So my, my boy loves Dogman. Dog you could look through there and find something that you wanted to put in. You could look in Cat Kid. Captain Underpants, whatever you really well like. But I'm going to, on this one, I've got other books that you could look at as well. This one is going to be, let's have a look and see. Some, if I can combine this, what I don't know what's above there, with, ooh, yes, let's go into a Bumblebee's body. So I'm going to turn this. Now I'm drawing a circle for the top of the Bumblebee's body. This is where the wings are gonna go. Now I don't know what's underneath there. I've got a bit of an idea. I've drawn three things, but imagine if you gave this to your friend and they didn't know what was there. Now I'm gonna just make the wings quite small. Big body, small wings for the Bumblebee. Might be a bit tricky for it to fly, but they do. And you can put all the veins and stuff on later on. And then I'm going to continue the body, which is the body part of the bee, down like so. And then on the bottom of this one, I have to um, make sure Try not to peep at the first one, but I'm just gonna put some lines there and that's gonna be the bumblebee body uh, thing there. I'm just gonna turn that one over, put that one up there. Next one, next one's body. Let's go with something totally different. This one's gonna have a different body on this one. This one may have a Ooh, what could we put on there? The midsection of something we could probably put on. This is gonna look kind of weird, but let's give it a go. We might put on a, a, turn it into a fish type body. So this one's gonna have like a marlin with, or a sailfish with a big fin there. And then I'm gonna create these as like little fin bits coming off. And this is just some really quick drawings. And then I'm gonna make the other arm come out like so. Because maybe later on we could turn that into match what's above there. So what we have to do here is we have to quickly just put these two lines there like that. So that's for the bottom. So that's that one's body done. Let's go with the next one and let's have a look at, these are just, I'm just doing random things here. This one is going to be, have a body that is similar to a dancing hippo drawing that I've seen here. So a big hippo's body. So a big belly with a nice little bow, to, a little bow. 
probably some sort of movie with a dancing hippo or pig, maybe. Pig, I think, is in Sing, isn't it? And then I'm drawing the fingers here. That's a bit funny. We can come back. Remember, we can change anything up later with Sharpies, etc. cetera. Uh, this hand, arm's gonna be coming off here. And she's only got, and I'll probably take that back up because I can go back up there if I needed to. But we try to keep all this the same there where it joins. And I can add a little bit extra there and a nice little frilly mini skirt, tutu, and then some legs. So this would be the legs there. And I'm going to then put this, 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 and let's just unfold that, sorry. I'm just not trying to, try not to ruin the surprise. There we are. Okay, the next step is to fold it up. So this is, this is the bottom. So that's gonna be the bottom of that one. This one here, I'm gonna try not to peep. This one's gonna be the bottom of that one. Sometimes when they don't fold properly, you might need to just refold them. So this is the bottom and then that's the bottom there. We're gonna start with this one. All right, I'm gonna turn this into a bottom of something. Now I'm thinking something totally, totally random. Let's see what something that totally random is. Okay, so the base of this one is going to be... Hmm, let me have a think. It's, that's the hard part. If you find pictures around you or find objects around you, that can make it easier. I'm going to go with something that lots of people like the look of, and that is a dinosaur's legs. These are going to have dinosaur's legs on them. So I'm going to look at the dinosaur that I'm looking at here, and I'm going to try and match some legs. I'm thinking two legs for this one. Okay, so I'm going to make it so it looks like he's turned side on, or he or she, and then it's got some big feet. Some big feet to keep this up. And then there's another, and it's going to have a tail that curves up, and I'm going to bring the tail up into there. There's the tail, and then there, here is the other leg of this dinosaur. It's a bit smaller because it's in the background. Now, it's not a perfectly drawn picture by any means, but you can see there. Now, this is the fun part where we unravel what we have got here. We have got a bumble pirate bumblebee giraffe. So now what I could do is see this pattern of the giraffe. I could bring that down and make the legs of the dinosaur have giraffe-like patterns on it. And this was what ties it in. And for this, this could be like a bee stinger. Let's do a bee, little bee stinger at the end of there to tie that in. Or another option would be to make it a pirate hook on the end. But instead of that, I might turn these into some boots instead. So remember we can rub out, if we haven't used a Sharpie yet, we could rub out. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty crazy. Now, if I wanted to give this some arms instead of wings, I could, but we're gonna keep keep it with the wings and I'm gonna break it down into some of those sort of B-type shapes. So this is, you know, like you get those folding surprises. This is sort of something similar to that, but it's a little bit different. It's folding creative characters. I like to call these and I'm gonna make them as little furry bits and I could outline all that. So there's one of my crazy characters. Time for the next one. This one, I'm going to turn it in to a, a um, something totally different. This one here is going to have 
Oh, I've done insects already. I've done, oh, let's see whether I've got a different animal that I could try and turn it into. Maybe some, let's have a look. I'm looking at desert animals at the moment, but that's gonna be tricky. Oh, let's, let's turn this into, now I'm not sure if it's the robotic one, but I'm going to pretend this is like a part of the body. This is like a control panel. Don't know if it's a robot or not, but it's gonna have robotic spider legs. So, and these are spider legs. One spider leg, two spider leg, robotic spider legs. Now to make them look robotic, we could have like little little screws or bolt, bolt uh, parts like so. And we'll put one here. Another one there. Now spiders have eight legs, but I'm not gonna probably have room for that. I'm just gonna have, oops, that's a bit weird, that one. It's okay, he's got his, actually I am gonna do eight legs because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to carry one up, up into there. So when we open it up in a minute, we can finish off the legs. Now, well, that's what we've got. Let's open up this crazy one and see what we've got. <gasps> Whoa, that is one crazy looking Pikachu slash spider. Let's have a look, he's got the spider legs. Now these ones, I didn't know what was on there. So sometimes if you have a bit more of a theme, they can be less crazy, but this is pretty crazy. Now, cause I've gone for a robotic spider legs, I might turn, I might just straighten that up a bit. Sometimes you can readjust bits that you might need. We could start to put some scales on here to break that up. Now Pikachu, put a, put a couple of scales through there. Pikachu has, does he have a tail? He does, he has one of those crazy, maybe we might put his tail on that comes out like his zigzag tail that comes out just to give him the Pikachu look. There you go, there's his yellow tail. So he's a Pikachu Marlin robotic spider character. Pretty full on, eh? All right, it's time for the lucky last one. So I know I did a robot head. I've forgotten what, the bot, what other body I did. Let's go. I'm looking at this one thinking some sort of vehicle base might be cool. So let's see what type of vehicle or, wheel, or tracks or wheels we could put on. So they're gonna carry these down. All right. And then I'm gonna turn it into a big tracks. So a couple of big circles and a rectangle. Another big shape around there. And now this needs some tracks. So I'm just gonna put some zigzags all the way around and I'm drawing quickly to show you guys how to do this. Now it's a fairly long video. But hopefully you get a bit of the idea of the concept of how cool it can be when you start creating your own characters based on almost like a cassette tape that some of you kids probably wouldn't know. Most of you kids wouldn't know what that is. Oh, wow, look at that. It's a dancing hippo robot with um, a ballerina tutu on. Now, I'm just wondering whether we need some fancy, nice, nice hair on this robot. Let's give the robot some nice flowing here coming off the robot. Make it nice. <laughs> the robot has now got some hair. We could try and put some 
Oh, we've got two robotic parts in the hippo part there. So that looks pretty cool. And we might just make it look like maybe the neck comes in there as well, inside the shirt. And just gonna bring that finger up into there. And as you can see, we have three crazy, crazy characters that I have developed. The next step would be to maybe go over those with a Sharpie. You could go over them with a Sharpie. Maybe in the comment section, you could uh, tell me which one you'd like me to finish off.